All right, Keiko RC here, part three, same day, like an hour later. <laughs> anyway, um, I just went ahead and busted ass and uh, and just got it all together um, as far as the um, frame and, and bulkheads go and everything. I hurried up and whipped it up uh, before um, everybody got up in the household. But uh, anyway, you can see um, it's, it's complete. I got the extended, this is the extended frame, which is, uh, uh, you know what, I don't have the tag, I think I put the tag somewhere else, anyway, this was an old, I showed it in the other video, um, it came with the, um, longer drive shaft for the rear right here, and then I went ahead and put this, uh, uh mega travel, um, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's one of those, it's, it's got it, uh, it's own universal, I guess, um, not like a cup, like, uh, come on, focus on that. Anyway, you know these center cups right here, all the cups for the drive shafts. This one has it kind of like built in, kind of like these uh, these um, Mega Travel CVs. I don't know if you can see in there the CV kind of things. Anyway, um, it's complete, and uh, I can't wait to get this thing up and running today. I'm gonna do probably a um, a trial run. I'm gonna mount the motor. Which is right back here. You guys have seen that? A very, very cool motor. Um, I'm gonna fill up these shocks. I'm gonna start out with probably like a, a 20, 20 weight or something like that. Or I think I might have some 20, just some 27 laying around, um, and play with the, uh, you know, the shock oil uh, after that. So do, the shock tuning will come last because I really want to get the uh, tuning as far as the um, sp the. Sp for, well, mo mostly my piss my pinions because I bought a whole bunch of different pinions. So here's a uh, 15 tooth, and I have a 16 tooth in the bag underneath this bench, and I think a 17 tooth. So, and then it, this kit uh, conversion kit came with a 19. So I'm gonna get everything in between 15 and 19. Play around with uh, temperatures and speeds and stuff like that. This is gonna go very slow at first. Uh, because I don't want anything breaking. I've spent a lot of time and money on this So of course it's gonna be uh, one of those things where you take it out a few times and then you test it and then you start going crazy with it um, The battery trays. I don't know if I'm gonna still mount them on the sides here uh, uh, And then make my own thing. Um, I think for my trial run I'm just gonna kind of like zip tie my battery up in here or something like that just one I'll do a 3s run if it looks good on 3s then I'll do a parallel uh, 3s um, on this vehicle if it's not enough um, and I just feel like I want more I'm probably not going to do 6S so um, it's just going to I think it would be too much for this truck so I'll probably do 4S and probably be happy with that kind of a middle point and um, I will just go buy two, um, two more 2S packs and use the trays that came with this without modification because those trays uh, showed in another video they're just a little too short for my 3s batteries I have and I don't still don't have an application for those so if I get a bigger truck later on I might be able to use them if they have adjustable battery trays but anyway this is what a completed um, extended frame um, I would call it an XL frame but I'm not sure because uh, this was all purchased back in the day and they didn't have the XL out yet so um, this is all that stuff before, uh, the manufacturer decided they were going to do it, um, straight out of the box. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? So, um, stay tuned for the next one, guys, uh, again, and then I'll, the next one, I should have this thing up and running, and, uh, I'll do a kind of like a, um, maybe an onboard video or something like that, just kind of as my, uh, maiden voyage type of deal, but we'll see. So, um, alright guys, till the next one. Later.